open your macro station go to drawings as shown there and then go to utilities and then you will see there's a, a small arrow there uh, which says open macros open that and then you will create a new VBA in this case we will call it chapter one user form then save your file and then open VBA editor so once you open you'll find uh, there should be module one if it's not there you can go to insert module but for our case we already have the module so we'll insert the user form now it's very important once you have the user form um, give it the proper name and also name the caption above the user form as shown here adjust the width of the user form to 300 and the same for the height as well now once you're ready when you click on the user form it should uh, show you the user form toolbar everything you need to create your user form should be here now to start with we need to place three text boxes and also give them uh, give each of those text box a proper name I prefer to start with txt and then um, nm afterwards x for the x-axis and the same thing txt and then y for the y-axis and then txt z for the z-axis once done then you can add the command button and also adjust the name um, on the properties cmb in this case it means command button it's just a shortcut um again it's one of these practice um that you will see the benefit of this on uh once we go deeper into coding also adjust the caption as well so at least it is saying uh what you're supposed to say in this case draw target and also it's good if you can align them so that at least they are um they have equal spacing and also they are in the middle as well in the center sometimes it's good if you select everything then try to align that way everything comes in the center um and then that depend on the look that you prefer um in this case i just want to keep it simple everything in the center now it's time to add the code so go to the module and also it's good if you can rename the module in this case i'll call it draw target as you can see here now here i will have two subroutines now the top one it will be the form launch so this will launch the form so that you can see it on micro station so to do this you need to type the following words so as you see here once you have this part of the code and you run it then it will launch and it will show you the user form once we're done now it's part to add the code to draw the line this will be a different separate subroutine just underneath the launch subroutine now the first thing first you need to declare all your variables and i prefer to put them at the top starting with the stand x as for the center of the circle is double double it means the properties of them um, of this text is number rather than text but also i want the same thing for the y and for the z axis as well so i'm going to copy this and paste here and there and change the x here for the y and the x there for the z and there i have x y and z this is for the center of the circle and for the line um, i'm gonna call my line as a line element 
and my sir is my circle element. And also I need now to declare the center point of a circle as point in a 3D. And for that I have to add the start point of a line also I need to declare it also as a point in 3D and that calls for the start of the line uh, which is ST and for the ending of the line which is EN. Once we have declared all the variables now it's part for us to we also need to add one more variable and that is a root matrix as matrix 3D. Once we have everything done in terms of declaring now it's time to bring in the values now this value will be picked up from the user form so when you type in the value the x y and z they will be read and brought in this part of the code for the next step so to do that what we're saying here that if we type send x the frm drop point is the user form name you can see it there on the top left now i want to look at txtx and then you need to look at the text inside that so i'll do the same thing you need that for the x y and z so i'll copy and paste and then change x y and z here also need to change them on the text as well on the txt so that will read um the point from the user form uh, into the draw target subroutine now you can actually draw a line so to draw a line um in the starting of the x and the y and the z as shown here so i'll copy the first line as t dot x but what i tend to do is to, to start x at minus one uh, but y and z should be zero zero so i'm going to delete the minus one in the front then also i need the line en for the ending of the line uh, and again for x the center plus one so it should go to the other side but for quickness i'll copy this and paste here and then i will delete the part i don't need so i'll copy it and quickly paste so i'll change x to y here and take out the yeah the plus one and change that to a z next stage is to set um my code to draw the line so just follow along and type the same information you see in my screen also i prefer to to let the code load information for me so in this case um if you do application then put a dot then you can see the next part in this case i want to do create line element that will initiate the line drawing uh, command and then you can see the next information and you can, as you can see in the bracket inside put nothing for the first part and then comma line start which is line st and then line en for the ending of the line also you need the other part as well uh, which is application and then dot what you're saying here is that in this application on the active model reference because you might have different well, models or pages so you want the active one and then you want it to add element okay and then my line as shown above there on the variables so once you have this information now let's try and then let's see if it, at least you can draw the first line now you go to run the macro on the play button there then click on draw line now let's see if you can see this on macro station let's move it to the side maybe let's do uh, zoom extent maybe the line is there and you can see the line is already here let's remove the line and let's try again also i like to check if the middle of the line is zero zero and you can see it is actually zero zero so that's fine so i will remove the line and now i will try to add the vertical line so i'll copy the same information command will do and make small adjustments so in this case i will change here to vertical line 
this is just a comment nothing as much and then i will keep the x at zero but i will change the y into minus one and plus one in this part here and that should draw us pretty much a vertical line and it should look like a cross um, so it will run the top command for the horizontal and then the vertical underneath and i can see here it looks like a cross now let's try to delete and let's do it again i'll go home here and delete element draw target and you can see it draws cross just like that good so now we have this part done and let's now try to add uh, a circle if you can well if you've done so far this part then well done you're already on your way to write your first code now let's add a few bits in the front now let's create a circle now rather than using line st i i have to use uh the center so which is sent point x so same thing i copy and paste and i'll change the x here to the y there and then z z there as well so this will use the points from the user form then uh, that would be the center point of the circle once you have information now is part now it's about time now to set the circle drawing command uh, you do this by set dot my equal to application dot and then create ellipse element 2 as shown here then comma nothing then here it's also it's asking for your um, um, origin and for us it is sent sent pt which is sent point and also it needs to know the primary radius and the secondary radius as you can see information shown below there so just i'll put 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and also it wants to know the rotation in this case i'll say rot rotate let me see here i think i need a comma after the 0 0.5 just there that should fix and that now it's fine so okay so that you also need another part as well just as you did for the line there which is application dot active model reference just same as above for the line then add element and then my sir c i r as defined above that now should be able to draw us a circle let's give it a go run the macro then if you press here you can see now it shows us a good center point okay now let's try it again and you can see that does very well let's change the coordinates a bit let's put one and one and you can see that moves so this would be very handy if you want to find where a certain point is the other ways of plotting the code is come to the utilities and then on the macros uh, select launch form and then hit play uh, to launch the macro that should launch it and then just enter your points and let's say put two two and zero draw target you can see the point is there so this it works in both ways the x the y also can even do the z as well you know if you want to go you know x y and z it's easy you just type your command but this point here is not um, about drawing line and circles hopefully i'll see you in my next lesson and have a nice day